1-800-900-6737. I'd say if there's one takeaway from all of our fantastic guests here today, we talked all about innovation, innovation, people that are willing to make a difference. Uh, with Laura Meyer from Brill Street, it was uh, Generation Wires, millennials that are working hard. Michael Rosen talked to us about the University of Haifa. We talked with Cameron Smith, who started a day school from scratch. Just an amazing, amazing fella. And now we're talking with Dr. Dean Bell from Spurtis Institute for Jewish Learning and Leadership, talking all about innovation and his program about innovation that's coming up in just one week from today. Dean, thanks for joining us on Get Down to Business. Shalom. Thanks for having me. You bet. So, uh, Dean, you know, let's jump right into it. Let's talk about uh, next week. Next week's uh, program about entrepreneurship, innovation, and Jewish leadership uh, with uh, Howard Tolman. For, uh, that name may ring a bell for many of our listeners, the CEO of 1871. Yeah, so Shalom, in order to launch our uh, new Center for Jewish Leadership, which is one of our main foci at Spurtis Institute, uh, we're beginning with an inaugural symposium on entrepreneurship, innovation, and Jewish leadership. It features a really marvelous panel that will have an introduction from uh, Howard Tallman, the executive and CEO at uh, 1871, followed by a panel of top-notch entrepreneurs from the corporate as well as the nonprofit sector and from Israel and North America features John Medved, uh, who's one of the sort of leading venture capitalists in Israel, Ariel Biri, who's famous for co-founding and uh, directing Present Tense, uh, Toby Rubin, who's the director and CEO of Upstart in San Francisco, and Jay Goltz, who's uh, really responsible for the Clybourne Corridor and a number of really important uh, projects here in Chicago and also a blogger for the New York Times. Each of these folks will talk about uh, their particular views of entrepreneurship and what makes successful entrepreneurship and innovation. And then Spurtis' own president, Dr. Hal Lewis, who is one of the leading experts on Jewish leadership, will draw some uh, important lessons from these entrepreneurship discussions for ways that we can leverage entrepreneurship and innovation to improve Jewish leadership and Jewish communities today. That's fantastic. And Spurtis has been around for uh, for quite a while. Tell us a little bit about the history of Spurtis and how it led to this point with the launch of the Center for, for Jewish Leadership uh, that you're, uh, with, with its events taking place next week. Sure. Spurtis was founded originally as the College of Jewish Studies in Chicago in 1924. So this is our 90th anniversary. And for much of our history, we've been involved in a pretty broad range of adult Jewish learning opportunities in Jewish studies, from our collections, resources, exhibitions, public programs that take many different forms, as well as our graduate programs in Jewish studies, but also an increasing and important emphasis on Jewish leadership and nonprofit management areas. We have, for example, an MA in Jewish professional studies now in its 11th cohort. Uh, We've had cohorts here in Chicago, across Canada, in Pittsburgh, and this spring, in addition, uh, in Milwaukee, third cohort in Canada, and a brand new cohort in Israel. We've also had a a certificate program in Jewish leadership that we sponsor along with Northwestern University. So we have a strong, long-standing commitment to significant Jewish studies, but also contemporary and applied Jewish leadership. And the two of those together really come uh, together as part of the Center for Jewish Leadership, which will uh, feature a number of symposia, uh, workshops, master classes, a series of offerings related to our certificate and degree programs, and we're hoping this spring as well a community mentoring program and a uh, innovation and collaboration awards uh, program to recognize sig- significant innovation within the Jewish community. And it's not often on the radio I get to do a uh, personal testimonial, but I am a proud graduate of the certificate in Jewish leadership uh, Cert, uh, program that's uh, jointly offered by Northwestern University and Spurtis Institute, and a proud uh, almost uh, graduate of the Masters in Jewish Professional Studies program. Uh, great programs, and Spurtis is really making a great impact really around the country, around the world now with a cohort in Jerusalem. Uh, and and here in Chicago, uh, most people probably recognize Spurtis's uh, green LEED certified building on Michigan Avenue. Uh, and I think there's uh, an event coming up uh, also, I, you know what, I think it was actually today, uh, an Open House Chicago event that people can check out the building. But for many people, that's what they see. But, Dean, as you're saying, there's so much that's inside, so much happening behind the doors uh, that, that people can get involved with, which is just great. Yeah, that's right. I mean, certainly the building is a metaphor for how we try to represent the learning that happens within the facility, but also beyond with a lot of online resources. Um, but our commitment to sustainability and to uh, innovation 
within the physical structure as well as the uh, offerings that we have programmatically. So once again, uh, we're talking with Dr. Dean Bell, uh, the Chief Academic Officer, Provost, uh, Vice President at Spertus Institute for Jewish Learning and Leadership. Uh, and he's telling us about the launch event for a new and exciting uh, program, a new and exciting center that's opening up at Spertus. And the launch is next week. Again, how can people find out more, Dean? So the event is uh, Sunday, October 26th. It begins with a symposium from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., followed by a networking lunch where we hope that people will continue the conversation around smaller and more informal tables uh, with some facilitators from the program as well as sort of leading entrepreneurs from across the city. People can uh, look up uh, information about the program and order tickets at our website, spurtis.edu. Certainly I would uh, be pleased if people wanted to contact me directly. My email is dbell, D-B-E-L-L, at spurtis.edu. Fantastic. Again, we're talking with Dean Bell of Spurtus Institute for Jewish Learning and Leadership. You will not want to miss that event. Next week, October 26th, taking place at Spurtus Institute for Jewish Learning and Leadership. It's featuring uh, a talk by Howard Tolman, the CEO of 1871. It's uh, right up our alley on this show, all about entrepreneurship and innovation. And I'll be there, and I hope to greet some of our listeners there as well. Spurtus Institute next week, October 26th. Find out more information on the website, spurtus.edu. Thanks, uh, Dean, for joining us on the air. We'll continue to feature uh, some of the other exciting programs that, once again, are making an impact around Chicago. And after the break, I'm going to be sharing some tips for you about holiday gift giving. I bet you didn't know what an impact uh, those uh, gifts can have in setting, uh, changing the mind of one of your prospects in business. You won't want to miss it after the break. We're talking about holiday gift giving. And as always, I've got a networking tip of the week for you. Get Down to Business is powered by Tandem HR, your solution center. Check them out online, tandemhr.com, or give them a call, 630-928-0510. You're listening to Get Down to Business. I'm Pete Sikorsky, CEO. 